So welcome to another Gibbs adventure. And uh, today, I just wanted to show you, this is Talon Lake. And uh, it's right in the middle of my trap line. And this is the portage tail that the voyagers would have used to bring all the fur from Western Canada back to Montreal and Quebec City to take it to, to the, uh, the old world. And all the trade goods would have came down Talon Lake, went up this portage trail over to Pine Lake, over to Turtle, down into Trout Lake and eventually into uh, Lake Nipissing. And so this is the portage. The ironic thing is they turned it into a provincial waterway park and I'm not allowed to trap in the park. Seems kind of ironic when you think about it because the reason that they turned it into a park is because of the fur trade, but the first thing they do is kick trappers out of it. So life's a uh, little ironies, don't you think? Anyways, follow along today. Going to check about uh, 40 sets there. Hopefully uh, we get a few uh, critters in our sets. <sighs> So, just want to show you the dynamics of my set here a little bit. I'm using plastic pails, a good chunk of beaver meat, and the pretense that I'm trying to do here is get my pails to be flat so that the animal has a way to run up the pole here. So as you can see, I cut a notch there put my pail and it's flat and then I don't have to worry about the bait rolling out and I pick this spot because there's sign right there it's twice a Martin's passed by here so third time hopefully is the charm but just to give you a bit of an idea why I pick that spot and what I'm trying to achieve here I'll uh, shoot another short one in a second here. so a couple things I use for my set Use this one for changing the trap real quick. I put the fence staple underneath. And then you can see my big chunk of bait here. I'll get in here. And I want to make my set very solid. And there's my secret lure. <laughs> and a 160. So that's what I use for my set. And uh, I've been refining it so that I get my boxes flat. That way there the bait doesn't roll into my trap and set it off so takes a little bit of work to set it up but I'm good for a long time with a log that size So I like to put a nice big glob of bait to do it and uh, now you can see when the animal gets caught he's going to fall out and he's going to hang there away from everything. I'm always kind of concerned about him touching a tree. This way here when he gets caught hangs free, doesn't touch anything and less likely you get damaged or, or pitch on you. So. Just my little trick there. So the last thing I do with my set is I completely block the front of it. And that's to try to avoid birds and non-targets. There's no money in catching uh, anything but Martin and Fisher here, so that's what I'm trying to catch. So just to give you an idea of the angle here, you know. So there you go. And there's tracks, there's Martin tracks right there. And he's come by here twice, so hopefully the third time I get him. So 
So, nice catch. Pretty fresh, you can see, worked back and forth here a number of times. That's why I like my Savage O's. Do a good job with the fisher. Not even frozen yet. So, right on. I always like having a running pole on my sets, but uh, I'll take a fisher any day. This is one of my double sets. If you look through the woods there on my way out, I'll show you. Anyways, I got a fur bag here. I'm gonna quickly put it in the fur bag. This is kind of my old style setup. I just used to use the fence uh, clip and a piece of wire. Now I use uh, the car banger, car banger, what do you call it? But it's still a pretty fast way to switch out a trap. like having my branches in the front there's no money in catching uh, non-targets get the old lure out give her a good swap that's my mouse lure with skunk essence in it all good in and out. Heading for the machine. Little story about this chair here. This is the end of a lake on the trap line here and there used to be, believe it or not, a trapper's cabin here. So, I just want to show you why I like the double sets. The fisher looked at both sets. But didn't commit to this set. It went over to the other set, so kind of neat. Anyways, that chair right there belonged to the trapper's camp that used to be here. Long since caved in and gone, but it's a relic from that uh, from that trap camp. Well, right on. It's always good to pick up a fisher. Well, just finished my run. Now I have about uh, a 30 kilometer run back to my house. I just, this is my loop here. Come in there, go out there. Got my set right there. I caught a Martin there the other day. Pretty stoked about it. So, end of the day. All I got today was a fisher. But I'm happy with that. I'll have to let it soak, I guess, for the next uh, pretty well a week. Got to go to a couple meetings, so deal with that. And then I'll be back out probably today's Sunday. So, probably can't get back till Thursday. Gonna switch my gloves up, put my Bella Clav on. Have about a uh, little over 30 some kilometers to skidoo back. I'm pretty lucky I can skidoo right from my house, so it's kind of neat. But uh, 
it's about it's a little over 30 some kilometers to my first trap here so all good all smiling see you on the next one hope you enjoy it take care give us a like and uh looking for comments <laughs>